Um, my mood has really improved. Uh, before, I used to just be super, super angry all the time or super depressed, and I've gotten over my issues with anger and depression. Uh, I also used to have really bad problems with hallucinating, and uh, that's actually gotten better. Yeah, and I'm actually going to make a video on that. Yeah? yeah. Hallucinating? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, mental sanity, basically. Yeah. Um, it used to be like pretty much every day, and once I went vegan, uh, it went down to uh, about once or twice a week. And cutting out caffeine out of my diet, that was a big thing. And then my hallucinations are pretty much gone. It's only when I have like, you know, birthday parties and I eat chocolate or something <laughs> that it ever comes back. But to be 100% perfectly honest, I do have angry, violent thoughts towards most people I come across. It's not a healthy mindset to have, but that's just how I think. And desire is different than intent. Uh, I might really want to hurt people, but I don't want the world to be an angry, violent place. So I don't behave in a manner that makes the world an angry, violent place. I might go complete psycho in some of my videos, but I don't act upon any of these violent thoughts that I have. I'm not going to kill any children. Uh, you know, you still might not want me to babysit, but no, I'm not going to crush any kids' heads in. You really shouldn't trust anyone. Uh, you don't know what people have planned for you. Repsion's a little fucking bitch. I fucking hate that shit. Like, I usually don't have a huge issue with people I make videos about, but, uh, yeah. If I had the opportunity, I'd kill him. Slit his fucking throat with this knife. Really like to use this knife on him. Like, he really does deserve to die. Like, he calls me a sociopath, I mean... He's just a piece of shit. I don't know if he's a sociopath or not, but he's just a turd. He should just be killed. Like, he's such a smug little bitch. I'd like, love to just slide a knife right across his throat and just watch him, like, just look all scared when, you know, he's just dying. I am making this video today to bring attention to questionable behavior that we see on YouTube and also about mental illness. Now, by any means, I am not trying to make fun of people that are mentally ill. Uh, quite the contrary, uh, mental illness is nothing to make fun of. It's actually sad, and there are a lot of people who unfortunately are unstable. Uh, they, have, they can have personality disorders, mood disorders, uh, different types of features that go with mood disorders, such as psychotic features, paranoia, and all sorts of other types of things associated with mental illness in terms of symptoms that you can see in people. Now, this is just uh, an opinion, uh, and you can form your own opinion. Uh, a lot of times people on YouTube may uh, portray themselves in a certain light, and it may just be acting. But when it's too far, too far. Uh, threatening to kill people, uh, where it's blatant. Uh, portraying yourself as someone who derives pleasure from seeing people either suffering or fantasizing about wanting to see them suffer uh, and die at your hands. Uh, at, the, at a minimum, at a minimum, borderlines on just a lapse of very poor judgment and also is very questionable in the eyes of people who watch those types of videos. Now one can make the claim that there's a difference between actual intention and actually doing something in terms of the behavior versus just saying it and making a threat, that there's a difference and therefore it makes it okay to go ahead and threaten to kill somebody or take their life. However, I have to disagree because intent and the actual carrying out of a behavior, it has a precursor. It has what's called a thought process. You are thinking about it and also you have a desire. Without a thought process and without the desire, you're not going to carry out behavior. Many people who have actually murdered and committed homicide, they thought about it and they obviously had a desire. Now, having worked in psychiatric hospitals in the past in my previous career, I know the criteria that's required to put people in inpatient hospitalization. People who are unstable, who need to be hospitalized due to their mental illness. And while there's a variety of criteria that can be met to get someone hospitalized, such as uh, suicidal thoughts or suicidal ideations, wanting to cause harm to yourself, there's also what's called homicidal ideations. Homicidal ideations is when you're thinking about killing someone, you're thinking about killing people and doing harm. You uh, verbalize and you admit to these feelings and thoughts. 
Now, when people express these types of thoughts, uh, this is uh, definitely something of concern. And having worked in the hospitals when uh, discussing these types of intakes with the psychiatrist, this was criteria that was sufficient to have people hospitalized to get them in a more stable mood and also a more stable uh, state of mind. Other criteria for being hospitalized in an inpatient hospitalization situation for psychiatric care is having psychotic features such as uh, hallucinations, uh, paranoia, delusions, those types of things. These are features that can be associated with mood disorders. Uh, major depression, uh, bipolar disorder is one that's uh, uh, very common. People have heard a lot of it about it and uh, it's sometimes called manic depression but it's actually called a bipolar disorder in the Diagnostic Statistic Manual for uh, Mental Illness. Now psychosis and psychotic features or symptoms, they can be associated with mood disorders like depression, but they also can be secondary to doing drugs like stimulants, people who have been up for days, sleep deprivation, uh, insomnia, secondary to not having slept because they're doing cocaine or other types of stimulants. These types of people as a result of the, the drug abuse or stimulant abuse can also experience hallucinations, paranoia, delusions, and those sorts of things. So you can have someone with a mental illness experiencing hallucinations, or you can also have someone uh, whose uh, uh, genesis or the origin of their symptoms is this uh, primarily a mental illness type problem, a mood disorder. Now I do not know this guy Richard personally with the Vegan Gains channel, and I'm not trying to make fun of him. And whether or not he's actually uh, mentally ill, who knows? But if you go based upon what he says, he admits to being mentally ill. Uh, in his own words, he uh, mentions uh, angry thoughts, uh, depressed mood, and uh, having thoughts of wanting to murder people. He admits to hallucinations, which is a very significant symptom of mental illness. Anytime you have psychotic features, something is going wrong. It's not right with the brain. You're not a stable individual. Uh, people who are unstable, they need intervention and they need uh, to be stabilized in far, as far as their mood and their thought process. These types of people need help. Now, if people who exhibit these types of behaviors uh, because of a mental illness, it can be easy to become frustrated with people like this. Uh, you may uh, experience uh, you know, a knee-jerk reaction to want to go after them. But if they truly are mentally ill, this behavior is, is a part of the symptoms of their mental illness. In all actuality, these people uh, need help and they need to, to be understood so they can get treatment. Uh, part of uh, having issues with mental illness is not always just uh, you know, organic or physiological in nature pertaining to the brain and having issues uh, in that area. They can also have developmental issues from childhood. Uh, they can have bitterness. They feel disenfranchised. And you know they don't they need a purpose and sometimes they find something to latch on that gives them a purpose and becomes a vehicle and a tool by which they feel justified or self-righteous and then they can go after people and now they feel like they're accomplishes and accomplishing something they feel like they're accomplishing something when in all actuality their behavior as disturbing as it, it comes across is an expression of the symptoms of their mental illness and a lot of emotional things going on from feeling uh, bitterness, anger, all these things to which this uh, individual Richard, he's admitted he has fe uh, feelings of anger. He's an angry person. He views human beings, generally speaking, uh, has a, a discontent for them, if you will. Doesn't like people. He admits that most people he just wants, he feels violent towards. That's not normal behavior. It's not normal thinking. That's a problem. And once again, I just want to point out, the purpose of this video is not to make fun of people with mental illness or who have any types of issues, whether it be personality disorder, uh, unhealthy adaptations to uh, dealing with the world and, and uh, lack of social skills and those types of issues, and people who just have a real distrust around them, bitterness, those types of things. Uh, these types of people, they, they need help, and we need to understand you know, why people develop these extreme reactions that they do. Whether or not that the behavior depicted in these videos by Vegan Gains is purely just a bunch of acting or it's not, either way it does demonstrate uh, a lack of judgment and a lack of empathy in terms of the, uh, the consequences and impact that those types of videos can have as far as people who watch them and also uh, the people whom you attack. I can respect people who have 
uh, a passion for a particular cause, whether it be animal rights, uh, being uh, the vegan lifestyle, and so on. And I don't have an issue with that, but I do believe there's more tasteful ways to go about it, have more class, be more respectful, and uh, depict yourself as a more stable individual if you want to have credibility and have people start to take you seriously. Because at this point, the viewers that do continue to watch, it's almost like it's just going to evolve into like a freak show. They're no, they're no longer coming to watch your videos because they're going to glean or get some type of uh, education or information that's going to change their life anymore. I think people are just going to click just to see uh, your unstable behavior. And that's not something that you want to be known for. You're a young person. you got to think about the long term of your life and what this may mean you know, 10, 20 years down the road. If you do have a mental illness, as you mentioned in your own words uh, in that interview of you, then by all means, my heart goes out to you. I hope you get help. Uh, I don't wish uh, any type of mental illness, any type of uh, depression, uh, hallucinations, and those types of uh, uh, symptoms. I don't wish that on anybody. And as far as any type of pain you may have gone through in your life, uh, I hope you, you know, can resolve the anger, whatever it is that's going on. There's a lot of people in this world. so. You cannot control everything. You gotta learn to be content with what you are able to do and have some tolerance, some understanding of other people. Going through life, not trusting anybody ever, that's really sad. Granted, we need to have judgment and we do need to use discretion when dealing with people, but to have an extreme response, an extreme response that we don't trust anyone ever. And finally, I just want to encourage anyone who watches this guy's videos don't watch his videos and encourage him on with this type of behavior because you're not helping him at all it's very unhealthy the types of things that he says and the way he goes about uh, attacking other people this is just not healthy behavior don't encourage it don't support that kind of behavior because if you are someone who uh, if you're a vegan follower follower of his and you're trying to promote a world that has uh, no violence uh, compassion and all these things but yet, you're going to support someone's channel who is the uh, antithesis and the opposite of all that. This guy talks about murdering people, uh, deriving pleasure from causing harm to other human beings. It's a total contradiction, not only to himself, but also to anyone who is subscribed to that channel who uh, does it because they are vegan and you want to be one of those kumbaya, peace and love people. So come on, you know, don't be hypocrites. Don't be self-righteous. Uh, be rational. If you do subscribe to his channel because you like some of the videos that give you information that you feel are uh, congruent with your life and our lifestyle, hey, no problem, more power to you. But let's not encourage videos that demean other people that are cruel and that are insensitive and quite frankly disturbing, disturbing in the very uh, core of the nature and the message behind them. And if there's anyone who happens to know this individual on the Vegan Gains channel, if you ever see him or hear him in person uh, expressing thoughts of wanting to harm other people, you know, you, there's a fine line between joking versus actually you can tell when someone there's something is not all right upstairs. Well, you have an ethical duty to report that person for the safety of other individuals and also to protect that person from themselves if they are not in a good state of uh, judgment and they're just uh, behaving in an unstable manner. So I hope we all can make some human gains in the area of compassion, tolerance, and understanding and being able all to get along. Thank you.